So guys, we're over here at the Walmart and I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to see some more kind of like different kinds of cooking with iguana. Now you guys know me, I'm not a, really a chef. I can barely boil water. I'm more of just the hunter and I'm, you know, just seeing weird things and trying to get some footage for y'all. Anyways, we were on Instagram and there's these girls called the Iguana Girls, you know what I'm saying? Like, they've been popping up on my newsfeed. Uh, a lot of people have been like sharing their pictures and I'm just like, the Iguana Girls? Hmm, I don't know. Like, so anyways, long story short, I DM'd them. We're meeting up with them today. They're actually right over there in that red, yeah, that's them right there. Iguana <laughs> Girls, how's it going? Hello. How is it going? So, what's your name? You're, you're Caitlin. You're Caitlin, okay. Yeah. And, I'm Lindsay. And you're Lindsay. And you and both of them <laughs> make up the iguana girls. Yes. Now, they're going to be catching iguanas for us. And also, they're going to be sharing some kind of like delicacy or something like that. We're going to be cooking up, son? Yep. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what's going on. Hopefully, I'm in good hands. We're at the Walmart. We're going to go pick up some of the supplies. We're going to try to do a Caribbean flair on iguanas. I mean, we've done curry before. But there's been, you know, a lot of hyped about jerk, jerk food lately, you know? Yep. Jerk. And we're not talking about jerky. That's a whole nother thing. We're talking about jerked iguana. Yep. You're going to be shoving it up for us. I already made up the seasoning myself. Okay. This is going to be fire. Already. This is going to be fire. All right. Let's go to Walmart. Let's get all the stuff we need. We're going to need a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Shopping carts over there. Let's go inside there. See you guys and in the store. And we're gonna put our masks on. Oh, and we're gonna put our mask on. <laughs> Without any further ado, let's get our mask on. There you go, mask on, mask off. Mask She's got the mustache. She's the got the avocados and I'm basic. He's just basic right there. <laughs> let's go to Walmart. We're gonna try to make the jerk iguana, but we need to buy a grill. Look at all these grills. What, what you guys thinking? Uh, think that's that? Dude, we could roast like 20 iguanas on here. Look at this. It's a little bit big, a little bit out of our price range at the moment, but yeah. we'll consider that on a future video. Um, dude, look how look how boss this is right here. Oh shit! Oh, whoa, whoa. You it. It, it's got the grill and it's got these burners right here, so we can just be doing a whole bunch of things. We can just be sautéing stuff, grilling stuff, look, deep frying stuff. Yeah. This is yeah, that's sick, but. Hey sir, how's it going? We're looking. We're looking for a small grill. Small grill. Yeah, we're trying to. We're trying to jerk some iguanas. Where are you from, sir? Are you from? Are you from Jamaica? Yes, I am. You ever? You ever heard of? You ever, you ever heard of jerk iguana before? No, we don't. We don't eat those things in Jamaica. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Check it out, though. We can get this one, or we can be a little bit more stylish and and get this one. Yeah. Wait, this one this one stands up though. What do y'all think? Which is gonna be easier to, to be more portable? That's what we're trying to figure out. I don't know, whatever it's cheaper. I mean they're the same price. It's just about the convenience at this point. Okay. Let's see. Uh surface area of cooking. Uh that can only do eight burgers. And there's like four of us, so that's like that's not enough. This one's this one's sixteen burgers. Holy crap. This one's an expert. This one's an expert grill. This one's a, yeah. That's this one's just a grill. Expert grill, 17.5 inch. Seven, oh, yo, okay. oh hell yeah. All right, hey, you're taller than me. Can you grab that? And you got bigger guns than me. All right, sweet. In the bag it goes. Let's hop in our F1350. Let's get some king's fur. Some king's fur. Hold on. But yo, we should actually get like match light. What do you think? Yes. So we don't really gotta mess with it too much. Like we could find it. Wait a second. Oh. Hey. We got a six pound bag from our homies at Expert Grill. In the bag. Okay. So guys, we're in the produce aisle. Like I said, just an update what we got in the cart. We got our friends right here, Iguana Girls, they're picking out other things. While they're doing that, I'm gonna see if we can get some kind of side dish for the jerk iguana. I don't know about y'all, but this corn right here is looking pretty good. Even though I can't see it because it's covered in husk. Anyways, at 
33 cents for an ear of corn. It went down from 98 cents. That's a heck of a deal, y'all. We're gonna grab like 30 of these. Am I, am I doing all the, the work here or what do we No, nah, just throw them in there. All we'll right. figure it out later. I don't... Oh, yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Sorry about that. So look, we, we need to strategize real quick. All right, but we don't even have the iguana one and two We need to get bait to try to get them What kind of bait do you think would be good to try to get some giant iguanas out? Mangoes, bananas Mangoes and bananas in y'all's experience. That's what y'all use. I don't know. I don't use We've bait. Never baited. I'm a master baiter. I've baited so many times <laughs> in my life from my experience, I know they like bananas, they like mangoes, they like pineapples. We're gonna go to that fruit aisle and we're gonna get some bait so we can bait us some iguanas. Yeah? Yeah? Let's yeah. go. Let's go. We're here, passion out. We got all this cool stuff. Oh, gotta make sure and wipe away that whatever she's wiping away. But check it out, y'all. We ended up getting um, the grill. We got bait for the iguanas. We're thinking about even making a nice, refreshing drink to hopefully complement this meal. I mean, I'm speaking way far ahead. We don't even have the iguana in hand. <laughs> but you know what? I call the iguana girls for a reason. I've seen what they've been doing. They've been killing it out there in West Palm Beach and stuff like that. So had to invite them down, you know, catch the iguanas. And also, you know, cook them up, y'all, because, shoot, need to lay off that dang Taco Bell, <laughs> start eating some more iguana. I think today is going to be a good step in the right direction to doing so. Let's go, y'all. So we're about to get everything situated. We gotta still go catch the iguanas. There's a lot of stuff to do on our Did list. Did you say iguanas? Heck yeah. Yeah, we're gonna try to catch, we're gonna try to catch an iguana and throw them on that we're grill. We're not going to try, we're going to catch them. This shirt says it all. He's you are not gonna eat an iguana. Yes, we we're gonna try, we're gonna at least try to at least. We're probably not gonna eat them, but I mean, there's like a 3% chance we might <laughs> eat them and put them on that grill. Just to, be, just, just to be real with you, there's about a 3.8% chance. Okay, so I live behind Lowe's, and, I, and they took my territory. There's 20 of them there, and now I have to walk all the way around because they took my territory. So go behind Lowe's and get one of those. Iguana girls, you guys hear her, what she said? Behind Lowe's. So you, she said that the iguanas took her territory behind Lowe's. You know the what, y'all? We gotta By take the it the canal. Guys, this, this seems like the perfect job for y'all today to get started. Sounds like a good opportunity. We, I mean, she needs her territory back. We need lunch. This seems like a win-win win scenario right here. And then you could come to my building where in my sidewalk, all those stupid lizards with their little oh, thing. Yeah, yes. like monsters in there too. too. Uh. Sick. Now you can eat a lizard. I mean, we might, we might just eat about anything at this point. We don't know. I mean, just to be real with you, it's kind of weird. <laughs> that's why we're getting all this stuff. But we'll definitely take that tip in consideration. We're gonna go behind Lowe's here in a little bit. Are you taking notes, Iguana girls? Uh, yes. Yep. We can for not knowing where we are. I actually got a job at Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, their, it's their first time here. So I know where she's talking about. We'll definitely have to go check that out, right? Yeah? yeah. All right, let's do it. Yep. All right, the total is fifty-five ninety-two. We all, when y'all got it? Who y'all? Yeah, yeah. You got it. You got. It? I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. I got it. I got it. Well, here's for that. Thank you so much, kind lady, and thanks for the tip. Wait, let me see. The... On our Instagram. Oh wait, who's that? That's Caitlin. Oh okay, that's right. Hey, that's a hey. Oh, so you do know a thing or two about catching iguanas. A thing or two. Check that out. Uh, Instagram iguana, the, the dot iguana dot girls oh, Instagram. Yeah, very brave. I can't believe she did that. Yeah. That I, I, really brave. I, oh, the iguana man. Get out of here. I got to still try. I can't believe your t-shirt says that. I, that so funny. I got to still see them do it in the flesh. I don't know if they caught it or not, to be honest with you. We're going to figure it out. We could just We're gonna be staging this whole thing. Yeah, this whole thing could just be a whole real. hoax. We're going to have to see it in the flesh. But if you guys want to check out the Iguana Girls, they're on Instagram. Uh, yeah, you guys can see more of their crazy shenanigans. Hopefully we see some good stuff in the flesh today. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, let me get, oh, whoa. Yeah, hopefully we see some of their shenanigans today if, if they're really about it or what. I'm pretty sure they are, I think they're legit, but we got the proof is in the pudding, all right? We gotta see what they can do. Oh, whoa, whoa now, come on, guy. 
Come on, guy. Respect the line now. All right. Let's go to the iguana hunting hole. Let's see if we can get lunch. Okay, so we're out here. With the iguana girls. At the canal, it's overcast. There are some right over, right over there. The iguana girl's trying to put lunch on the table. Ooh, there goes some fatties right there. You see them? That one looks like it would make some good, uh, some good jerk. Okay. There we go. About time. I was starting to get worried. I'm like, dang, we might have to go to McDonald's. I want that one. Sweet. Guys, it looks like the jerk iguana barbecue might be a possibility today. All right, y'all. So I had that one iguana that went in the nest, but I can't grab them because I got these little girl hands. But... Are you saying I have big man hands? No, I'm saying you got bigger, stronger hands than me, so you might be able to grab them out the nest. I'm not... There's nothing wrong about saying that. Look at all this. All this, shit. this is pretty foul right here. Look, look. Oh, look at... Oh, shoot. No. Oh. We got, we got the tip of the tail right here. Look, look, look. I don't know if you're, you're gonna be able to work with that though. You wanna go in there and see if you can grab the leg? Go ahead. I got the tip of the tail. Right here, I'm grabbing the tip. Yeah. Come on, we're going inside the iguana nest, y'all. Remember, these iguanas got long. They got super long tails. Pull him out a little bit towards you. I'm trying to get the, I'm trying to get as close as I can. You feeling? You feel the tail? Yeah, I'm at the base of the tail. Oh, nice. I got it. No way. No way. Oh, <laughs> out the nest. Iguana girls coming in clutch. Holy smokes. It's pretty. Hey, give me some skin there. That was sick. Come Young on. Male. Oh, whoa. Oh no. That's that's not a good idea. Probably a lot because I post so much. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I want to I want to cook some of that iguana, but I'm just like like it just, <laughs> I seen you. I seen you. I know y'all can cook it. We gonna try. I mean, I'm not a master chef. I can barely boil water, but these are my friends, the iguana girl right here. Yeah, nice to meet you. Man. She went to culinary school and she she knows a thing or two about a thing or two about maybe cooking. So. She, we, we just need to get some for the jerky iguana. Oh, whoa, oh. Guy, hey buddy. Hey buddy. I had my arm on the dirt bike. Oh, did you? Oh man, I hope you get better soon, yesterday. man. Hey, wh what do you think we should name these iguanas? We got two of them. We got this guy and that guy. What do you want to name them? <gasps> oh, RJ. RJ? Okay, that's RJ. And what do you want to name this little guy? <laughs> Jack. Jack. Okay, we got RJ, we got Jack. They're going to be joining us for lunch, all right? These guys are coming with us. They're going to be our special guests for lunch. Let's put them in the bag. Whoa! Dang, that scared, that scared the living daylight out of me. All right, we got another one for the jerk. We got another one for the jerk. Be careful, they bite. Oh, don't squeeze them too hard. We're looking all right, y'all. We're in some good shape. Oh yeah, whoa, whoa, he's a little feisty guy. Just calm down, buddy. All right. We're trying to get the jerk iguana. Like I said, we're with the iguana girls. They want to cook jerked iguana. I don't know how to cook. I need their help. So this is what we're doing today, y'all. Getting those iguanas in the bag and then we're going to throw them on the grill. Pull the string, pull the string all the way up so you can be, you can be more precise. Get that big one, get that big one, are you? What do you mean, how? <laughs> You're the iguana girl. Figure it out. Oh my God! Look at them all. Oh, there's that. There... Well, you gonna learn today. Who's 
this guy. Wait, what? What on earth? Sam, these are the Iguana girls nice right here. Nice to meet you guys. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm, uh, I'm excited. I heard you guys are going to jerk up some iguanas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They love jerking iguanas. But anyways, we need to catch <laughs> quite a few of them before we can actually do it because there's a lot of us, obviously, and these iguanas are kind of skittish. They've jerked many iguanas before, right? Oh, yeah. You've done it before, right? Jerk them all the time. She jerks them all the time, guys. She's a, a pro iguana jerker. Those iguanas aren't going to jerk themselves. Oh, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. But, um, yeah, man, we're, we're, we're trying to just get some right now for food. Should I just so. go grab this duck? Yep. Yeah, I mean. With bare hands? We could do some jerk duck, too. Worst case scenario. The ducks really don't seem to mind the weather. No, they're chilling. Thank you. That's a nice rod right there. I like that. Big old surf rod, right? Yeah. All right, Iguana Sam. Let's see what you got, bud. Get him! Oh, he's like a turkey. No, I want to try. You guys should tag team him. Go for it. Hey, two hunters are better than one. Go for I don't it. Know. I feel like ducks are scarier than iguanas. Seriously. Ducks are more likely. Like to, they're, they're more likely to, to retaliate. You know. Yeah, they're smarter, big rock. yeah, exactly. This one's kind of just waddling his way. She's gonna go for the herd. You just need to just be a little faster. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she just if she had a net, she'd be, be she'd be able to get him. Come on, iguana girl. There we go. Now the iguana girls are gonna double team on him. If somebody gets hands on that duck. Oh, she gone. I feel like they know now, you know, like I, I kind of spooked him. If I were to just jump on him out of nowhere, it would have worked, but... But it was on the, uh... Holy smokes. What? Oh, uh, guy. Godzilla up there? Yeah. Hey, let's go around this thing. Let's see if we can get some more, because, I mean, we're still trying to do a jerk, but we need, we need some pretty decent sized iguanas at this point, before we can even consider cooking any of them. I mean, there's like five of us right now. Yeah? Iguana Sam, you seen any? Alright, airplant, got this little iguana. Uh, we're still going to need quite a few more iguanas to make this meal actually worth it. I mean, if I try hopping in the there's a lot of us. A <laughs> there's a lot of us and we're not small people, y'all. We're getting more for the table. The iguana girl's right here. It's the same one I caught before, I think. <laughs> Wait, there's no way. No, I know. Because he's, he's about to go on the barbecue. But, hey, that's a fat one right there. <laughs> we got the grill working. We do got a couple of iguanas that we caught earlier. I mean, we were trying to get giants, but they're obviously way smart. Do you think this is good for the, the, the barbecue? Sure, why not? Yeah? Yeah. Sweet. Never had iguana jerky before, so I don't really know what to expect, but... Hmm. If it's as good as it sounds, this is gonna be a really special treat. So if you guys haven't already, Subscribe, hit the bell, comment down below if you want to try iguana jerk. I keep calling it jerky. It's not jerky. It's not jerky. We don't want it to be jerky, then it's going to be overcooked. But we got this guy in the bag. We're going to show you guys everything. Any more of us? I don't got hands do it, do, it, do it him with what you will. You guys already know what that is. We don't gotta tell y'all, it's pretty obvious. But just those at home that aren't that fast. Oh, we gotta, we gotta wait for this to, to calm down a little bit. And yep. I know, we're all hungry. But could we get one more peek at that real quick? Just just show everybody at home what we're working with. Can you give us the rundown on like what you actually did to this or what's in it? 
It's just seasoned with uh, jerk seasoning. I made it up myself. It's got all sorts of spices in it. It's got like uh, onion, garlic, cinnamon, allspice, cumin, everything. Like a whole bunch of stuff. Dang. Rubbed it up good with some olive oil and then we're gonna cook it in the pouch for a little bit, low and slow, and then we're gonna take it out, put a little dry rub, grill it up good, and be good Ooh. to go. All right, guys. Looks like the iguana girl is not playing around, y'all. Looks like she knows how to throw down. But yeah, looks like looks like this might actually be legit. Jerked iguana on the grill. Hmm, interesting, y'all. Okay, so here's the rundown, y'all. All right, we got a grill here. We're not gonna use this rusty behind grill. So, whew, we put it in the aluminum foil. The coals are down there. They're getting nice and toasty. But what this is going to do, it's going to act kind of like an oven, all right? It's going to allow these to cook up, steam. You can kind of see it right there. It's starting to sweat a little bit. There's moisture building up inside of it. And that's exactly what we want to get a nice, even cook on this jerky iguana. So we're going to leave it low and slow. Let it do its thing. Um, it's got a steamer. It's like a steamer right now, y'all. It's doing its thing, all right? You've got to be patient. I know you're hungry. But we're going to keep our eyes peeled for more iguanas. sneaking up a camp you know what I'm saying maybe she smelled the food or what but well, we just caught her slipping but look oh wow look at this look at the tail you see that this Ooh, wooden kinked tail kinked tail I can feel the bone in there is actually twisted let's see if we can help it back put it back in place all right <laughs> kind of like a chiropractor one two just kidding guys we ain't gonna do that to this iguana we don't know if that's gonna actually hurt it, and we don't wanna give the iguanas any extra suffering. But let's go ahead, put it in the bag. All right, so here's the good news, all right? You guys seen we just caught that female that tried infiltrating the camp. She probably smelt the food or whatever, but we just came up with the most genius idea. How do you guys think we can lure more iguanas out this structure? What do you guys think? Mangoes! Oh, fruit, <laughs> their favorite stuff. Hmm, <laughs> okay. And we were at Walmart, y'all. You guys seen it. We did pick up some mangoes, so we were going to actually eat these, but... Better for the iguanas. Exactly. <laughs> if we use these to lure out more iguanas, and we eat those iguanas, guess what? We're going to be eating real good, you know what I'm saying? Heck yeah. What would you guys rather eat? One mango, or possibly like two or three iguanas off of it? Iguanas all day. Exactly. Let's start chopping. Let's start baiting. Let's keep our eyes peeled. These things... They, they, they can be anywhere. Yeah, just yeah. keep your iguana <laughs> radars on. All right, so let's break it down real quick. This is what we're doing. We're trying every tactic in the book. We're even going to try sacrificing these mangoes to possibly lure some out. I don't think it's really going to work because it's been raining all day. But at this point, we don't really have anything to lose, y'all. All right, so we got some more good news, all right? The blade, I accidentally broke it in this pineapple. So, Oops. oh, look, oh, look, look. Oh, oh yeah, the bait's it. working. The bait's working. Guys, the bait is working. Ooh, ooh. Hold on now. Don't get too excited now, Iguana Girl. Look, Iguana Girl's ready to pounce on it like a damn tiger. Just calm down, all right? Ah. <laughs> iguana Girl wants to throw more iguanas on the barbecue. Hungry! Over here and smash this pineapple. Try to make some more lures, all right? More bait, more chum. Oh my God. Guys, don't try this at home, all right? We're gonna slam dunk this pineapple into the concrete. One, two, three. Boom oh. shakalaka. There we have it. Nothing but net. Look at that. That is gonna be some great chum. We just threw the bait. I mean, is it working or what? It is certainly working way better than I thought it was going to. My patience is getting the best of me though. Oh yeah, guys, you guys see it right there. They're actually 
eating the bait. Didn't honestly think it was gonna work. I thought it was way too windy, but hmm. Looks like we're getting some kind of results. Oh yeah. He's curious, he's like, should I do it? You see how he's shaking his head at you? Oh yeah. You gonna try bagging him in a little bit? Let him get more comfy, right? Yeah, I'm waiting for you to tell me to go. Good, let him come. These iguanas are <laughs> they're bold, huh? What you think? We could, you could if you want. See, that's what we're working on right now, guys. We're trying to get more iguanas to throw on the grill, but we're trying to build that trust. You know what I'm saying? It's just like a dog, you know? So once you try eating them once, I mean, they just don't trust you. But we got this guy right here. That's pretty sick. Um, hmm. They're kind of just moping around. Maybe, they're, maybe they want to be caught. I don't know. Yeah, like they're kind of just circling around. Oh, where's he going? He's going back in his hideout, his tree house. The big one? No way. There he is, y'all. never seen a more effective Hey, that one looks like it might be a good one for the for the barbecue right there. Dude, I'm getting insane footage right now of this. This is crazy. Look at, look, come look at this, Sam. Yeah. Come look behind the, the, on the screen. Oh, damn. Come on, buddy. Yeah, there's a couple of keepers over there. Oh yeah, there's keepers, dude. I really don't know what to do in this situation. I'm gonna be very quiet, even if I do catch one, I'll be very calm about it. So okay. I want to say I'm just going to go for a stealth method. We got a guana on the line. Oh yeah, dude. Good job, Iguana Sam. Putting some more food on the table, y'all. There's plenty of us right now, so we need to try to get as much food as possible, y'all. Yeah, they, they're not startled by this. Good, 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 they're good, good. Baiting technique is super effective. Um, we've only really been waiting about 10 minutes maybe, and the iguanas are just swarming on that mango. Yeah. Oh. Long story short guys, hey, the ribs, they got nice and smoked in the, 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 the rib, oh, the ribs. Long story short guys, the jerk got nice and, uh, I guess like braised or? Jerk. They got jerked in the foil, but now we're gonna go ahead and give it a nice final sear on the grill. Yeah, the grill is a little bit eh, but you know what guys, we're savages, we're out here catching iguanas, and we are hungry, we're not no pansies over here, so. We gonna get her done? Look at those beautiful grill marks. Those are not beautiful. That's gorgeous. What are you talking about? The grill's gross. That grill is perfectly fine, man. <laughs> all right, that's gonna be some good eats right there. All right, a little rust is just a little iron for our blood, you know. Oh, okay. Somebody watches the Food Channel. I see that. I see that. Just kidding, y'all. Look at this. This is phenomenal jerked iguana right here, y'all. It's some fire roasted lizard.
What you doing? Hanging out. <laughs> That looks phenomenal right there, y'all. And we're doing it island style, y'all. Check this out. You're at the island, you catch catching iguanas. Like, let's say you're in Puerto Rico and you're catching iguanas, right? You don't got no little grill. You got to use what you got. You see this grill out here? You got iguanas, you're hungry. You're miles and miles away from civilization. Guess what? You're putting that iguana on this grill. No questions asked, period, all right? This is what we're simulating right here, y'all. Check it out. Ooh, yeah, seriously, what? It's fine. Literally eating iguanas off a park grill. True, but I mean, <laughs> God dang, I like my parked grilled iguana without ash. It's okay. It should be fine. I hope. Only one way to find out. Seriously, to eat it. So, stay tuned. We'll be back. We're with the iguana girls. We're catching and cooking iguanas. Jamaican jerk style on a random park barbecue. Great. Fabulous. Go lower, go lower. Wait, we might we might be able to get him here. Go on that side. Go on that side. We're gonna try to scare him into that fence, all right? Okay. Hell yeah. Hold this real quick. Holy crap. Do not try this at home, kids. This is extremely dangerous. Dealing with wild animals, especially iguanas. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Can leave you in the hospital. <laughs> that guy almost got me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Got him in the bag, y'all. Hey, check this boy out. Yeah. Hey, I try, man. You know, it's he is the business. iguana man. <laughs> it's risky business, man, but sometimes we're lucky enough to get them. They're fast and they're smart, but check hey, it out, y'all. There's a lot on my hill. Oh, yeah. We, we, we're going to be catching them out here. We're going to be cooking them, too. We're going to actually yeah. do some jerk iguana over there. You ever had jerk chicken before? Yeah. What do you think about jerk iguana? You think it might be good? Hey, you can't knock it till you try it, right? Well, 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 guys. This is going to be the moment of truth. You know what I'm saying? We we got the Iguana Girls came all the way down from Indian River County. We thought we were going to get rained on by the, the struck of luck, guys. The dumbest luck out there. We just happened to get a couple iguanas to complete the challenge, y'all. The Jerked Iguana. Accompanied with some rice and peas that she made. We got some corn. We got some vegetables in there, y'all. That looks absolutely phenomenal. Uh, without any further ado, guys, we're gonna start eating. Oh my God, guys! Iguana Sam just gave me the call that he's got a giant on, y'all. Holy smokes! No way! There he goes, bro. Good job, man. Come down nice and easy, Sam. Way to go, man. Come on down, Sam. Woo. Hey, you ready to throw him on the barbecue, Sam? Oh, yeah. Let's go, buddy. All right, we're going to go ahead and take our food out, y'all. This is well-deserved. We should have been got some food, but... Oh, thank you. Comes right off the bone. Yeah? Holy smokes. Okay, it kind of looks like a rib. More... What do you think? It kind of looks like a rib, doesn't it, guys? Like, mm -hmm. look at that. It's not even like a tail. Tender. No way. Sam, how's that corn, bud? Delicious. Yeah? Oh yeah. Dude, that looks more like a oh, like a like a I swear like a beef short rib more than an iguana can tail. Can you just eat it? Can uh, can I? I don't know. Let's <laughs> break me off a piece of that iguana tail. Yeah. Iguana tail, jerked. Honestly. Don't really think this is gonna be that good because I'm not a huge fan of jerk chicken. It's just dry oh, and it's really? just yeah. All the jerk chicken I've had is dry. Everything jerk I've had was always dry. Really? It was like I was eating like overcooked meat in like okay, well, it dirt. Just like that, I promise. You sure? It's just like that. 
Guys, I, <laughs> what did I sign up for? Oh, here we have it, y'all. Let's go for the first bite. <laughs> Jerked iguana tail. Think iguanas like corn? <laughs> they kind of eat it like corn. Find out. I'll throw it over there. I'll pick it up later. Some of them will eat it. Yeah. The ducks. Dude. Do you know what it tastes like? What? I want to try some. You get a piece, Sam. Oh, your face is concerning me. Sam, what do you think this? No, Sam, grab a piece like from the back right here. Good. Sam, Sam, go ahead. Sam, grab a piece from the back. Just, just grab it from the back. Or I mean, just take some meat off the bone. <laughs> there you go. What does that taste like to you, Sam? Don't lie. Just pretend like you don't know what it is. Um, chicken for sure. Dude, you know what it tastes like to me? What? It tastes like I'm eating like a like a pork rib. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It tastes exactly it's like pork. It really does. Really good. Does it? Yes. But if you eat it plain, boiled, it tastes like crab. Jesus. Oh. You know what I think it is? I think it's the spice. The spice gives it that pork kind of taste. How's that one right there? Really good. Dude, this is phenomenal right here, actually. It's like eating a chicken wing. Mm. I'm, I'm totally digging this right now. Like, not even fronting with y'all. Good. This is tender. It, it's fatty because I guess we put it in the foil and all that seasoning kind of like soaked up in it. But it legit, the jerked iguana tail legit tastes like I'm eating a piece of pork. This is a leg, right? And I don't, I love pork, but I don't eat it no more. But I mean, this might be a good new alternative. I think what is the, this? Just like uh, kind of I think the iguana girls are on to something with this one, y'all. Mm. Wait, till you try the burrito? Phenomenal. Pick it up and bite into it. Yeah. Just bite it, bro. Be a man and use your hands and your teeth. <laughs> good. Really good. You guys do good job at the spice level. It's perfect. Yes. You want you want to put some rice on there for me? Who wants to help me out now? What what y'all cooked? Y'all cooked rice. Oh yeah, we cooked this yeah, rice. Yeah, everything. Plantains. Y'all cooked and plantains, guys. Through the corn. The meat just comes right off. It's like a really tender pork rib. That's just what it tastes like right now. Like a fatty flavored, grilled flavored, jerk flavored. Complete opposite on what I thought it was gonna be, y'all. It is an absolute home run. Not even gonna cap with y'all. Amazing. If I would've known jerked iguana was this tasty, I would have been jerking iguanas, all right? I don't know, dry jerk, wet jerk, how to jerk. I don't know, guys, and I'm not a jerk, so I never did it, but huge shout out to the iguana girls coming out here, showing the iguana man and all you guys how to make the jerk iguana. Absolutely phenomenal. We're gonna finish lunch. We might go on another adventure. See you guys later. That's, a, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Um, the jerked iguana, we really didn't think we were gonna get any because of the rain, but I'm so happy that for some reason or another we were able to get some and uh, cook and have this beautiful lunch for you guys. It's truly a blessing. Um, I wanna give a huge shout out to the Iguana Girls coming all the way down here from like Sebastian. Mm -hmm. That's like four or five hours away from me, I think. I have no idea. <laughs> but guys, we got, we got the jerked Iguana. It was an absolute success. I honestly thought it was gonna be dry and crusty. Like, yeah, never mind. But it turned out to be a huge hit. It tastes like pork rib. It's got the spice. It was soft, it was moist. Pretty impressed uh, by the flavor and just the overall everything about it. Huge shout out to Iguana Sam coming out here, uh, putting some iguanas in the bag, putting them on the grill for us and y'all. Also, guys, let me know in the comments, would you ever try jerked iguana? Also, let me know any other recipes you guys want to see me do on the channel. Um, we're going to finish lunch. We might go hunting again later. I don't know. So make sure you're subscribed with the bell notification on. Uh, huge shout out to the other Sam right here helping out everybody played their part on today's uh adventure getting the food gathering it guys it requires a lot of energy and a lot of time all right so give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new it's the iguana man signing out until next time guys